Welcome, Scorpio, to your September reading of for the 9th through the 14th. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, my beautiful Scorpions, let's see what's going on with you. It's over here. Okay. Next message for Scorpio, the 9th through the 14th of September, please. Getting two cards coming out right off the bat is an imbalance. Um, definitely feeling like you're a little imbalanced over here. You might even feel like there are some consequences from the past that may be kind of shining back at you, Scorpio. Um, maybe you were trying to take some kind of offer or something that was going on with the Knight of Cups. Um, definitely talking about, okay, well, I did something. Maybe I didn't take this offer. Maybe I should have. Um, but it seems to like something is biting you back. Um, and that's definitely what's going on over here, which is causing an imbalance. It could have been some kind of choice that you didn't take. And now you're feeling kind of reaping the consequences from the situation. Um, or maybe you took the offer and reaping the consequences. However it is, take it how it resonates. It is a generalized reading. Um, but definitely having something to do with that where you are definitely feeling that this is definitely coming back at you. Remember, my friends, we are in Mercury retrograde. So things from the past do want to show their ugly little faces or become very beautiful one way or the other. Um, on this situation, it's not looking very, it's not looking very nice. Um, getting straight in here, you have the Wheel of Fortune coming out, Ooh. the King of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. So definitely having the, the Wheel of Fortune over here <clears throat> is definitely talking about the chance that you could have definitely changed something. Um, it does feel like there was something that maybe you felt you could have truly changed something in the past if it weren't for this, or you took something and expected this to change. Um, and you see the money. You want the money, and there's a lot of prosperity, um, but it just feels like with the Ace of Wands, there is something that needs to be reconciled from the situation, and maybe there is something you do need to maybe make a leap of faith from. Um, it does feel like right now you could be kind of scraping by with just exactly what you have one way or another, maybe the bare minimum from a job, or maybe you're getting the bare minimum from a, a love relationship. Um, maybe it's two and one. Um could be just the people in your environment. Let's see what's going on. There's definitely some kind of switch that has been kind of turned on that's allowing your life to feel kind of upside down at this at this time. Not feeling that you're getting exactly what you really truly want. Let's see what's going on over here. You know, looking out. On a relationship response over here, it almost feels like the relationship response could be almost the same way as a financial response. It just feels like there's two in one over here. So whether it's a relationship because of the Hierophant in the middle of the deck over here, my friends, um, as the major arcana of this, this is talking about the over-dedication of the commitment. Whoa, that kind of reminds me of the Astro Dice that we had just done, talking about dedicating yourself to the commitments, keeping faithful within the situation, even though it might be a win or lose situation, you still feel that, you know what, there might be a possibility that I can take some kind of offer and get out, right? There's something I can do. It's just that I need to hermit myself away to be able to really think about the situation at hand. There's going to be a lot of discernment that you're going to go through um, at this time period between this, this 9th through the 14th. A lot of discernment. A lot of maybe even ghosting people um, so that you can think. If you have somebody that's, you know, kind of always on your case, maybe at work or in the family or something, you're probably not going to want to really um, be opening up and sharing anything with them, kind of hiding back, especially if they're causing problems. Um, with the temperance in reverse, it's saying because right now there's you're not going to, um, it's not treading shallow water. Right now you feel a little deep within the water, drowning. Uh, kind of scenario. And that's because it's not the perfect timing at this time. Now, within the Astrodice reading, and I will go back to this, 
we did say at the end of the month, remember the middle of the month, it feels like, it feels like it was getting a little bit better. And then towards the end of the month, it's kind of like going back to deeper waters again. And it's kind of proving that in its own way as we're getting towards the 14th of the month where all of a sudden you're starting to get into that end month to where it's like, oh, now I need to go back and reflect again, right? So, so really treading some water over here, trying to get out of the deep end straight into the shallow end and then kind of ending it back into the deep end again. But I would have to say though, at the end of the reading of the Astro Dice, guys, if you haven't watched that, please go watch that. It does talk about how, you know, there is a possible way of having the realizations that whatever was turned upside down after this will come back up, right? So you're definitely, you know, there is, it's going to get better. We do know that within time. Um, there could be at the, towards this end of the month, some kind of around the 14th or the 15th, right? Yeah. Where you feel like there's no blessings coming through. It just feels like there is this, it's kind of like the bob effect. Like if I throw, if I throw the bob into the water, it sinks, but then it always pops back up, right? So it's kind of like that. It's like it's sinking, sinking, but then all of a sudden it just pops back up. And that's kind of what's going on within your life at this moment is that kind of bob effect like bobbing for apples kind of effect. I'll throw the apple in, it starts to sink, and then it, it just pops back up. Um, and that's kind of what's going on over here. So what's going to end up happening is wherever you, you're having these issues, whether it's finances or relationships, whatever your situation is, um, it's definitely talking about having this connection in which things are going to have a higher calling in the end. See, trying to get back to the the passions of the blessings of what I'm looking for. Because right now it's saying, yes, I'm scraping by with what little I have, whether it's, like I said, in that love, whatever your situation is. And it feels like nothing's working for me. They're not coming towards me. This isn't going the way it needs to be. Or something from the past is, you know, no matter what, something from the past is really kind of biting back. So definitely not traveling towards you the way that you want it to travel towards you. If anything, it feels like it's getting further and further away. Um, and where you need to feel like it has more blessings within the situation. Um, it has these six of coins over here. So it says, but I'm trying to be as generous as the situation. Look, Scorpio, the craziest thing about this is you're still the generous person. I still see you as the king of pinnacles, right? Even though that's a Taurian card, it's not the point, right? The point is you still have small prosperities around you no matter what, right? And it also shows that you still have a very generous, kind, giving heart to where you're still giving out things for other people, whether it's towards this Taurus or towards whoever. So it does show that you're still doing that. It's just that there's lessons learned and things you have to watch and analytically think about. Um, this is going to take a lot of analytical thinking. Okay. Definitely with the Queen of Swords. You have to think about what it is that you're going to do and how we're going to connect. Finding the terms of where your, your sense of self is and the sense of what you really need, right? So in this case, that's really what's going to be going on here. And then finding the simple terms of how to do so. Wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised here if the Queen of Pentacles doesn't pop her little face up here pretty soon in this simplistic area. But I don't think that it'll happen until down in this area, to tell you the truth, towards the, the end of the, the area. But with the Knight of Wands over here, it shows that you still have this passion and this drive going through you that makes you really want to try to still fight for what you want and what you truly need. So on a spiritual message and outlook, it says, you know what, keep fighting the good fight because you do have the fight inside you. It's just kind of like I'm in the bummer mode. So being in the bummer mode just is telling me that it's time for you to really kind of take a break from the way that things are going at this time. And acknowledge what spirit has to say with you know to you about how you're working hard within the situation. This is going to uh, really open you up not only for your intuition and the analytical thinking, but also for the perspective of once I look outside of the box. Here we go, right? We always talk about perception because it is really definitely hindsight 2020. Step outside of the box, try to see it from a different point of view, so that way you can then analytically think, oh my God, I missed this, or oh my gosh, I missed that. So if we see it from a different point of view, a lot of times we get it. That's why our friends always know what's, what's best, right? When they're really, those who are really good at that. 
it's because it's not their problem, right? When it's not your problem, it's easily, you know, easily said than done. So, you know, and that's because they're seeing it from a whole different point of view. When you see it from a different point of view, you're going to understand your life better. That's where the reflection is really going to come through. I would actually like to see a moon card as well, because I would actually like to see some kind of deeper reflection going on to where that way you can see the pros and cons of what is what, right? So shadow work, of course. So over here, it's saying, yes, I'm having a small tower moment. And this is definitely a tower moment within your life, whether it is actual truly falling away or if it's just the way that you're perceiving something to fall away, right? Emotions falling away. Everything's breaking down. And you can feel that it's breaking down. But remember, after things break down, rewards come from that, right? Because that's going to allow the Wheel of Fortune to change everything. So you're going through a huge change. That is exactly what this is. As we change the seasons and the leaves fall off the trees, right? Spring comes and then renews them. So nothing is completely ever really dead. It's just how we fix things and learn from things. And that's what the Page of Cups is saying. Page of Cups is saying, be your own leader. Now, you could have a Scorpio or, or a Pisces with you who is definitely helping you along with this within the situation. It could even be a marriage where you're actually helping, or it could even be that you're helping a child, um, right? Or even your children might even be giving you advice, um, if they're older, and who knows, even small children sometimes have crazy advice. Like, what the? Just very small or maybe very old souls. Um, but however it is, it's also you connecting to yourself and keeping the faith within yourself to be able to work hard towards your rewards. And really diving deep within the situation to be able to fix what you really need to fix. This is the kind of a short break that you're going to take right here, um, really with the hermit. This, this hermit is a really big, you know, I'm going to say this hermit is also a, a really big major arcana in this reading as well. Because it's really about keeping the faith and the blessings for the change of really being able to self-reflect and get into the deeper meanings. Um, because through self-reflection of how things are going to go, it's really going to allow you to kind of build an inventory of ideas of how you're going to do things. Then you're going to offer yourself this or someone is going to offer you this. Look, it's kind of interesting. We have the Page of Cups twice. So it almost feels like for a lot of you, you definitely have this person and you'll know if you have this person. This person is somebody you know. Okay, this Page of Cups. This is somebody because they're supporting you. So you definitely have the support of this Page of Cups. And if you know that you don't have this person, then it's definitely just you supporting yourself through the situation, but offering yourself the support that you need to be prepared for the success that's waiting for you around the corner, right? Because you, there's, yeah, this is getting out of the sadness, out of the, the negative mode, getting away from the worry and the stresses and the things that are holding you back within your mind um, so that way you can kind of deep cleanse yourself and your mind for a higher energy to come through. And getting your chakras ready, guys. Right? Really getting those chakras ready. So with the Seven of Swords, it's saying do not thieve your own energy and do not allow this to become the opponent, you know, your overall opponent. Because what it is, is it's almost like now you are going to become your own kind of thief. So be careful of that while somebody else is trying to help you out. Perception to move higher. There's the perception. So the perception is, yes, keeping all your decks in a row, looking at what's going on, taking time to rest now so that way you can really get down to the nitty gritties of what you're really looking at and what you really are passionate about. There's a lot of passion. Look at all the, look at all the fire. We have the four of wands, not traveling in the, in the direction that we think that we should be, you know, driving ourselves for but wanting to drive towards what I really, truly, passionately want. Having someone walk away when I'm trying to hold on to them. Something of this nature. So over here it's saying, okay, so as I'm moving up and I'm feeling better, all of a sudden, you know, but I still feel like I'm actually treading in a lot of water still, right? So I'm feeling a little bit better, maybe around the 12th or so. I feel a little better, but then come around the 14th, I'm feeling kind of down again. 
And this is because you need to declutter because declutter the emotions because now the emotions are what is holding you back to the situation. And this is kind of reaching a plateau within yourself um, to where you need to rethink the situation. And that's once again, that card's going to come up a million times. Yeah, because you're feeling like you're not getting the satisfaction, but as soon as you go into that hermit mode, now you can reflect on the situation and really start working hard towards what it is you want because now you see that there are real rewards and satisfactions coming towards you. It's just the proper way of actually really putting a timeline together in its own way. The timeline is really starting from the beginning of the month to the middle of the month and then really working towards that end of the month of the timeline for you. There's the Queen of Coins, and I knew she would come up, but it's... She didn't come up the way I wanted her to. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. She came up upside down because she's saying you're not feeling very simplistic. Over here you were feeling simplistic, but now you're not feeling simplistic. Now it's saying I'm getting a little worked up again. So you have to let go of that thinking and then everything that you want within the month was actually, you know, you're going to start embracing what it is you truly want. So the Queen of Coins says I'm not happy. I'm not happy. As I reflect on where I am Right now, the grass is not green. So if the grass is not green, I'm not very happy. So therefore, I want to let go of what this is. It might even be decades of work that you're literally going to let go of because you're saying it's not panning out the way that I want things to go. Um, and having really that kind of talk within yourself or somebody else. <clears throat> or maybe two in one. More than likely two than, probably more than, than just yourself. So we have the putting up the challenge for the Ace of Cups. Now you're going to put yourself into a challenge mode. Look at this challenge mode that's coming towards you. You might even have someone that's going to challenge this with you. It could literally be a Capricorn who's going to challenge your thoughts, your ideas, and this could be where the treading the deeper water comes in. And you're saying, no, nope, no, nope, because I want the Ace of Cups. Because the Ace of Cups is saying, I no longer want things lukewarm. I want everything to overflow. And then you start seeing this really maneuver around their challenges, around the challenge itself. So however it is, the hardship Scorpio is going to then finally start dissipating and things will start shining, right? And then it's going to feel like it's almost like a fluke of a challenge. This could be karmic for some of you. We are in a Mercury retrograde. Um... A karmic that spirit wants you to literally, your higher self spirit, however you want to see that, wants you to change something that should have been changed a long time ago. That maybe you just kept walking around. Um, so however it is, it's going to definitely be the changing of the tide over here for the imprints. Wow. So you're going to definitely go through a rebirth. You're definitely, because we have the Wheel of Fortune in the very beginning to the imprints at the, at the bottom of it. Wow. At the end of the middle of the month. Definitely having a change and a rebirth for the harvest of this situation. And this is where you're going to really feel like you're actually nurturing something that you actually want. And you may even feel like others are nurturing you around you. Um, so definitely feeling like things are definitely shining and happening in your, for you and in this area of, excuse me, whatever it is. Um, but patience is truly going to be the virtue here. Um, and it's showing impatience over here. So there is definitely some impatience as you're treading a little deep over here in the waters. Um, things are, like I said, are looking lukewarm, not as warm as you want them to be. Um, but this will definitely bring in the Ace of Cups with the three of, or the three, I'm sorry, the imprints. <laughs> the three of nothing um, <laughs> with the imprints because it feels like where you were having not as much satisfaction, this is going to be unexpected. Because if it says, I feel... Like nothing is going to change and I don't have any satisfaction. And then all of a sudden the Ace of Cups and the, and the Imprints comes up. What the heck is that? That's saying all of a sudden something relishing is coming up. Something that you need to nurture is becoming new. It's a fresh new thing coming through. And it's definitely unexpected. You're not going to expect that. And definitely you won't because you have the Ace of Coins. So whatever this new opportunity is with the Ace of Coins. It could be a new date, new love, new job, new offer is definitely saying this is what it is and because you have the knight of cups over here it's saying also that there is some kind of offer maybe coming towards you and this is your card knight of cups it's saying this is where i want in the long run so it's almost like you're playing out something that's going to change up kind of the routine that you're used to 
and it's definitely kind of uh, flippity floppity for this time. And especially within your emotions is it definitely playing a big role here. So really watch that, guys. Really watch your chakras. Okay. Really kind of try to keep them as balanced as possible. A lot of meditation, a lot of, you know, um, interaction with yourself of how to, you know, when you see yourself getting a little crazy, you know, and thought of negativity, kind of calm down, relax, you know, it's not, you know, worry gets you nowhere. I've never seen worry do anything, but make you sick, give you a headache, give you insomnia, worry, stress. It does nothing. It really changes nothing. I learned that from my grandmother and I, she, wow, she's absolutely right. She used to always say, what does worry bring you besides heartache, pain, and a headache? And she's right. It does nothing. It changes no outcome. So as soon as you start feeling that worry and it starts giving you any kind of anxieties, stop, calm, think. If you can catch it, that's now. There's, that's the point I used to always tell her, if I could catch it, okay? Alrighty, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye. Thank you.